Good morning, boys and girls. It's time for story time from the Satsuma Public Library. We hope that you're all doing well. Hope that you're having a great school year, or however that may be, whether you're in school or at home. But we have two really cute stories. As you know, it's now fall. Even though it doesn't quite feel like it, it's getting there. So we, the first book we're going to read is Leaves, and it's by David Stein, and it's about a young bear that has never seen leaves fall off of a tree before. Should he try to put them back or take a nap in them? He is getting sleepy. So let's see how this works out for the little bear. It was his first year. Everything was going well. He looks like he's having a good time playing. Until the first leaf fell. Are you okay? He wondered. Then a red one fell and a yellow one fell. All over his island, the leaves were falling. This is his island and you see the leaves all laying all over the place. They're falling from the trees. He tried to catch them and put them back on, but it was not the same. He sat beneath the tree and watched them go all around, but he grew sleepy and so found a hole and filled it with the leaves. He found a hole in a tree. And went to sleep just as the wind began to blow. There's his tree with his leaves stuffed in it and he's inside taking a nap. Winter came Look at all that snow He slept snug in the ground while the snow piled thick In the spring with wide eyes, he, he woke up. He felt the sun and saw the little buds on the bare arms of the tree. and the tiny leaves that had begun to unfold. Welcome, he cried. He's so happy to see the little buds all over the trees that are gonna turn into leaves. And he thought the leaves welcomed him. The end. There's lots of leaves falling now. So, our next story was There Was an Old Lady 
who swallowed a bat by Lucille Collender. There was an old lady who swallowed an owl. Excuse me, we're gonna, we're gonna, I skipped a page, we're gonna go back. There was an old lady who swallowed a bat. I don't know why she swallowed a bat. Imagine that. There was an old lady who swallowed an owl. My, oh my, she started to howl. She swallowed the owl to shh the bat. I don't know why she swallowed a bat. Imagine that. There was an old lady who swallowed a cat. Why do you think, what do you think? Now she's so fat. She swallowed the cat to chase the owl. She swallowed the owl to shush the bat. I don't know why she swallowed a bat. Imagine that. There was an old lady who swallowed a ghost. What do you think? She liked it the most. She swallowed the ghost to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to chase the owl. And she swallowed the owl to shush the bat. I don't know why she swallowed a bat. Imagine that. There was an old lady who swallowed a goblin. It made her so dizzy she started to spin. She swallowed the goblin to scare the ghost. She swallowed the owl. She swallowed the ghost to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to chase the owl. She swallowed the owl to shush the bat. I don't know why she swallowed a bat. Imagine that. There was an old lady who swallowed some bones. There were so many, she started to groan. She swallowed the bones to rattle the goblin. She swallowed the goblin to scare the ghost. She swallowed the ghost to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to chase the owl. She swallowed the owl to shh the bat. I don't know why she swallowed a bat. Imagine that. There was an old lady who swallowed a wizard to cast a spell so she could yell. Trick or treat. And she yelled. And then burped. She burped it all out. The end. Halloween will be the end of this month, so hope this is a little lead way into that. We look forward to seeing you here at the library real soon.
when we get back to our full stage of being open. We certainly hope that all of you are doing all right. Hello to our library babies and our Bridgeway babies and all of the others that have joined in. We thank you for being here with us today and we hope you have a very blessed afternoon. Thank you and see you next week. Bye.